currently standing on the east bank where we have our alfalfa variety trial intercropped between rows of Kernza. Every other row is an alfalfa variety um, in 12 foot plots. And on Monday, April 20th, we came through and we harvested our spring uh, defoliation. Uh, this spring defoliation is critical to increasing the amount of biomass a farmer can actually harvest throughout the year. Um, coincidentally, if you harvest this biomass in the spring, uh, you can also get a grain harvest in the summer. What we don't know is how late into the spring you can cut uh, and still maintain your kerns of grain yields. So this experiment here, we take the biomass off in the spring, we come back in the summer, and we measure the grain yield of those plots. Um, I'll show you here in a minute some of the alfalfa and some of the techniques we use to monitor the kerns of growth. So here we have an alfalfa row that was left uncut next to two kernza rows that were left uncut. You can see the biomass difference at this point in time uh, with the kernza being substantially larger. In order to maintain grain yield, we have to be sure not to cut off the head mare stem. And this really means not cutting the kernza too low and too late in the year. So to monitor this, we come out once a week and we measure head mare stems by taking off tillers at the ground level, dissecting them at the base, and looking for the head mare stem on the inside of the tiller. You may be able to discern a slight white uh, inch or two of tiller from the base, followed by a dark green uh, center. This dark green center is the head mare stem which will elongate uh, throughout the year and ripen uh, into the grain. If we were to cut this tiller off at or below this mare stem height, it would no longer produce grain. So back to the alfalfa. Some of the compatibility traits we like to measure are how fast things grow in the spring, how fast they grow in the summer, and how long it takes for them to go uh, dormant. Uh, this is critical to know because we want to be able to cut the kernza whenever the kernza is ready, not whenever the alfalfa is ready. So if we can get alfalfa biomass to uh, be at its peak production at the same time kernza is at its peak production, uh, we can increase this cropping system's biomass yield. So moving on to uh, sandfoin, uh, this is a space plant that was planted a couple of years ago and we've harvested uh, the biomass off of it a couple of times um, as well as the grain uh, each summer. Right now in its vegetative state it's pretty low to the ground um, but in the middle of summer it'll be about four feet tall uh, with hundreds of inflorescences. Uh, this is a really attractive flower. It attracts pollinators of all kinds. Sandfoin is also part of a civic science project that we've just started. Um, some of you might be in the pilot project right now, um, but in the fall we might ramp up and include a lot more locations. Uh, we're trying to see how sandfoin grows um, is in, in as many environments as possible, uh, including here in Kansas. Uh, so one of the things we'll do is we'll send out clones uh, and evaluate them uh, for their genotype by environment interactions. Another sandpoint project we have going on is a weekly uh, seeding trial. So beginning in uh, early April, once a week we plant uh, some plots of sandpoint measure how fast they germinate uh, depending on the soil temperature, precipitation. Uh, we'll do this again in the fall um, and we'll do it for two years, trying to get an idea of how and when to plant sandfoin, um, when its best uh, production is based on the planting dates. Um, so it, it's critical for us to know these uh, first few agronomic principles. Um, another candidate that we're looking at is Cura Clover. I don't have any in the field with me right now, uh, but cure clover is a low growing legume uh, that could be a candidate for uh, planting it between Kernza here. 
so hopefully you learned a little bit and enjoyed these uh, Kernza uh, intercropping with uh, legume video shorts. Um, if you have questions, uh, just let us know. Thanks.